I look like Winona Ryder in that, um, <laughs> what's that movie, Girl Interrupted? <laughs> we have some daddy-daughter ASMR in the background. Jesse's off today and he's hanging out with Penelope in the living room, so. If you hear that, that's what that is. And even say hello to you guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Whether you're an OG subscriber or if you're new, welcome, welcome. So I've kind of been in a makeup funk. I I don't know, I've been okay with it. Before having Penelope, I loved doing a full face of makeup, getting all glammed up quite often. And since having a baby, I'm sure if you yourself are a mama, you can attest to this that you don't really have as much time for yourself as you used to. But again, I honestly have not even had the urge to put on a full face of makeup because I'm like, okay, when I have a free second, put on a full face of makeup or do the dishes, organize something. You know, you, if you're a mama, you know, you know. So today I just, I feel like putting on a full face of makeup. Like this is the first time in a long time that I'm like, I wanna beat my face. So I'm gonna sit here and do it with you guys. Kind of a mom makeover, I guess. So you guys are flipped. Normally when I have my nice studio background, you guys see my vanity, which is what you guys are on. But today I'm like, that's not how I do my makeup. I sit here with my little lamp. I sit here with my little mirror. And so yeah, that's how we're gonna do this tutorial today. Let me know guys, honestly, I get it. The other way, would, if you guys were to face the opposite way, it would be way more aesthetically pleasing. And if you guys like that, please let me know. I can easily do my makeup the other way, but this is just a little more realistic and that's what I've really been into lately, more realistic, so yeah. To prep my skin, I just went in with my Pixi Glow Tonic. I will link everything down below. This is the best toner ever. And then I tried something new today. Instead of a moisturizer, I went in with my Ordinary Rose Hip Seed Oil. It's supposed to be really good for acne scarring. And I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm in the mood to experiment. Like I want that nice, fresh glass skin look. So we'll see how this does. I am gonna try to use pretty affordable products. I have a couple here that I just, I, I wanna use. So first I'm going to go in with my Mask Teeny Woke Bay Whenever Moisture Spritz. I've been loving this stuff. This isn't drugstore price, but it is a small business and the owner herself, Olga, is so sweet. Again, I don't really mind using pricier products if it's a smaller business, if I know who I'm supporting type thing, you know, so. I'm just going to spray my face, dab that in with a beauty blender. Okay, so I'm actually gonna try out the Ordinary Colors Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade 1.0 NS Very Fair. I've tried this out like one time and I don't remember how I thought about it, so. We're just going to try it out again today. Eh, it's average. I am gonna try out a new concealer. I picked up the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate um, concealer. This is new. I got mine in the shade C1. So I'm just going to put some of this, you know, in my normal highlighting areas. Ooh, it's kind of, ooh, it's very like creamy. And then I'm gonna spot conceal just a little bit. You know what, since we're glamming, let's, let's do it all over. Let's do the full glam thing. <laughs> Ooh, that's actually blending out really nice so far. Wow, first impression? I'm impressed, I really, really like that. And for me, concealers, I'm really picky. I feel like my under eye for some reason always just is nasty. <laughs> I don't know how else to say. So I'm impressed so far. I'm just gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. Mine is in the shade 05 Fair. 
and I'm just going to try to kind of focus that on the areas that I get really oily. I get really oily here. I am gonna set underneath and then my T-zone. I mean, kind of with the remainder, I'm just gonna lightly set the rest of my face. Next, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Forever Sunkissed Bronzer with a Sigma F20 large powder brush. Let's get some color back in our face. This is the one that's like primer infused, something like that. It actually, for a really affordable bronzer, it's really, really nice. So if you're on a budget and you want a nice matte bronzer with like a decent undertone, this one is really nice, really nice. <laughs> Name that movie. <laughs> Just gonna clean that up with whatever's left over on my beauty blender. In the fashion of glam, I'm just gonna take a Sigma F4 Extreme Structure Contour Brush and let's go ahead and do that. Let's just carve out a little extra. Contour the nose a little bit. I haven't done that in forever. Just blend this all. Blush, I'm just going in with my Milani Luminoso. A little rosy cheek action. The Milani baked blushes are bomb, you guys. I get asked a lot, like a lot of people know about them and they are really, really, really good. If you don't like an orangey tone, I actually usually use Berry Amore, which has a more mauve undertone. I don't, you guys probably can't tell with the, the lighting. Let's see. So here's Luminoso, here's Berry Amore. You can see them that way, so. Okay, let's move on to brows. I'm gonna be using my Brow Lux Precision Brow Pencil. Again, these are not the cheapest on the market, but this is a smaller owned company. And again, it's woman owned. The owner is so sweet. I've actually worked with her company through Gravy, which if you don't know what Gravy is, I'll just link a video up above for you. But what makes these special is the coloring. So I'm using W3, which stands for warm and three is the darkest. That's one thing since I've had dark hair, it's really hard to find a dark tone that's not ashy or gray and once it dries my hair does have like a warmer undertone they have a neutral line they also have a cool line so if you have trouble finding a brow pencil for your undertone also like redheads they have a really nice w2 and a w1 so yeah definitely check them out if you're having a hard time finding a brow pencil your color oh I desperately need to pluck my brows and shape them and Ugh, again, I'm just like, I don't want to spend the time to do it. Same thing with my nails and toes. I used to be somebody who I always have had to have my toenails painted, but once it chipped off, I just, I haven't been able to bring myself to take the time to do them and again it's not something like oh you don't have time to do it like I probably could make time I just don't want to you know Thank you. 
And then I'm just gonna go in with the cheap, good old fashioned e.l.f. brow and lash gel. Poor Poopoos, she has been really having a hard time lately. I think she might be cutting her top two teeth or she did have a cold as well, but she has just been so distraught lately. I feel so bad for her. Okay, I'm just gonna do the other eyebrow and I'll be right back. I'm actually pretty impressed with how like my face makeup looks using that oil. Another thing I just have not been into lately is eyeshadow palettes, which is so weird because I, that used to be my favorite makeup item ever was eyeshadow palettes. And now I'm just like, ugh, I usually just use the bronzer I use or whatever. But since we're glamming, let's use an eyeshadow palette, but I wanna use an affordable one. So I'm using Wet n Wild's Rose in the Air. Do I wanna dip into that red? Let's do it. I'm gonna take this shade here and I'm going to use this e.l.f. blending brush and I'm just going to pack that on my lid let's try to wet this brush I want a little more oomph let's see This color is a little hard to work with. Not gonna lie. I'm going with my finger to just pack some color on. The fallout's not bad at least, I'll say that. Okay, I feel like that took way too long. But I'm just gonna hit underneath in that same color, underneath my eye, since I have it on my brush. Okay, to blend that out, I'm gonna go in with this transition shade here, and I'm literally just gonna go in with the same brush. And kinda just help blend out that line. That one's super pigmented. Maybe it was just that red color. Holy cow, that one's real pigmented. Oh, pfft. I'm just taking a Sigma E38 diffused crease brush and I'm just literally gonna blend out the edges of that. Let's do a cut crease, what the heck. So I'm just putting some of that concealer on the back of my hand and I'm just taking a little flat brush. This one's from BH Cosmetics, but any flat brush will do. And because I have hooded eyes, I'm gonna look up and that's gonna kind of give me an area to build up that crease. Oh. Thinking this concealer is not the best to cut your crease with. Maybe it's the brush. I'm gonna try this e.l.f. concealer brush. It's a little more thin on the side, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this shimmery gold shade here. I'm just gonna use my finger and pack that on. We're dipping back into that pink shade and I'm just gonna kinda blend that out a little bit. Cause 
we lost the pink. All right, I'm gonna do the same to the other eye and I'll be right back again. Okay, so I went ahead and curled my lashes and put one layer of mascara down to prep for some lashes. I don't even know which ones I want to wear. Okay, so I think I'm going to use these. They're by a brand called Lash XO, and they are in the style Smoking Hot. Again, this is another brand. It's a small owned brand. They actually are based in Arizona. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And her lashes are super affordable as well. So let's get this off. And I just like to use the Duo Brush On with Vitamins Lash Glue. I know a lot of people like to use black and I feel like I just mess up too much to use black. And this has vitamins in it. It's supposed to be good for your natural lashes. I am gonna have to get up a little close and personal to put this on. Nicely. That one went on nicely too. Geez, something about the shape of these is just makes it really easy to pop on. Okay, while well, I'm waiting for those to dry, let's highlight. You guys, if you're looking for the glammiest, shiniest highlight on a budget, Milani's Afterglow Strobe Light 01. If you're fair, the 01 if you're fair. It is just bam. I'm gonna use my Sigma F6 Powder Sweet brush. Watch this. Even in the like cheesy lighting, front facing camera. <laughs> this is a blinding highlight. And I've been kind of liking to bring my highlight down kind of like on my cheeks a little bit. Let's hit that nose. I'm just gonna take my finger and hit the inner corner. And let's do Cupid's bow as well. Mm, get that all wet. <laughs> A little mascara to blend the lashes. And then we'll hit the bottom lash line as well. Ugh, it's so weird. I'm like, I want to get glammed up. I want to put on makeup. And now I'm like, all I want to do is go hang out with Jesse and Penelope. <laughs> Okay, we're almost done. I actually am going to try out, I'm so excited. It's not drugstore, but I have never tried Kylie's lip kits and my sister got me one for Christmas. She got me Candy K, which I feel like is like the staple one. So I'm just kind of wipe off any gunk. Anybody else have like nasty lips like where they get like gunk right here i always i don't know what it is maybe it's like the type shape of my lips maybe it's how they close together i don't know but let me know in the comments if you struggle too i also am not a lip liner wearer either so let's see how this goes Mm. 
Not gonna lie, that lip liner is super, like it went on so smooth and easy. So let's try the liquid lip. Oh, poor poo -boos. Oh, it smells like medicine. Like cherry medicine. Which I do not like medicine. Jesse does. <laughs> wow. I get it. I get the craze. It's really nice. <laughs> I don't want to get it because it's so expensive, but that's smooth, you guys. And I'm just going to go back in. I always do this at the end of my makeup and just put a little extra powder in the places that I get super oily. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me just get my brush and do something with this hair. This postpartum hair loss regrowth is... Ugh, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with it. Look at this. I look like Winona Ryder in that... Um, <laughs> what's that movie? Girl Interrupted? <laughs> But I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I went into my closet and I tried really hard to find some really cute shirt and I don't wanna wear real clothes. I just wanna wear my t-shirts. <laughs> this is the end result. Not gonna lie though, I feel good. I feel confident, I don't feel frumpy. Let me show you guys. I'm gonna take you guys under the diva ring lighting right now so you guys can see. Okay, here we go. So here is the beauty guru lighting. Mm. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day. Life can get busy, life can get crazy, so I really appreciate you taking the time out of your life to come and watch me. Hopefully you got some entertainment. If you're watching this, I am just sending you all of the good, positive, loving, peaceful vibes. I'm giving you a big warm hug, and I will catch you in my next video.